Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to ESL1 Road to Rio. It's North taking on G2, the final map underway. North won the ninth round, and G2 stand now with quite the difficult task ahead. They've had barely any momentum coming out of Dust2. It was looking really solid for North, and we'll see if they can get it done here. They desperately need to win North. Oh yeah, they win this, they guarantee themselves uh, a spot out of the groups. And it's going to be fast play coming in towards ramp. It's going to be the first kill going the way of MSL though, still holding the line towards the hell. Meanwhile, Jumpy oh. getting hunted down and AZ coming to his rescue. And AZ picks up two, the bomb's dropped. And just like that, Hunter is going to be left alone in a 1v5. Oh, there goes Hunter finding a headshot on towards Jumpy. He's the last remaining player. And uh, yeah, this is not looking brilliant for his chances, but he's found two already into the round. Now looking for MSL, who is low, and now suddenly it's flipped back into a winnable position here for Hunter. He still has to try and get the bomb. That's the biggest issue for him. His health is low. Uh, his health is relatively high. The issue is no Kevlar. Forward north is starting to shake a little bit. They don't want to make errors. And while Hunter's coming through the window room, it's going to be Cajun B at the bottom of the stairs. But two players lying away anyway. It's going to be Cajun B that takes the kill on towards Hunter. And north will find the pistol. But Hunter does somewhat make that quite close. Three kills coming through. Yeah, he, uh, some could say a nice try there. If he got the, the initial shot onto Cajun B, that would have been a 1v1, and from there it could be anyone's round. But uh, like you pointed out, the lack of armor being quite a detriment there, the aim punch kicking in in the, uh, in the deal with Cajun B. So there we have it, North off to a good start here, despite losing a few players there in that 1v5, but they're going to be pretty happy with it. For a G2, it is going to be a full eco. They didn't get the bomb down, so they're going to be going for... The buy in round number three. For now, it just uh, glocks galore. Hunter, though, he'll afford himself uh, a deagle, considering that he did get those three kills. Gonna be looking to lead the charge here. But I like what uh, North are doing. They're taking the fight. They have the weaponry. It's only going to be falling back as the realities are pushing up. You don't want to be facing five glocks in your face. It doesn't matter which gun you have. That could still be quite deadly, especially looking at the, the players on the side of G2. But the, right now, North are doing a very good job just keeping the T's at bay. G2, and we're boosting Hunter up on top of the red box towards outside. He's searching for this pick on the Deagle. Sell is behind the blue box, and while he's going to peek into the open, catching him with the MP9. Hunter gone. Vision B up in heaven, looking to try and take a long range fight with the FAMAS. And a real opportunity here. It's a huge advantage against the pistols at long range. But MSL, I think you might just want to hide there now. You don't really want to be taking too many of these fights. It doesn't matter. He'll still manage one. AZ backing him up. We'll get the trade on towards Kenny S. A 4v2, looking good for North, long oh. range for Cajun B, not really hitting the shots, but luckily, AZ coming in, it's going to be Amanek alone, with a clock, manages one, goes back from two, and, uh, well, he will catch out AZ on the end, scared. So, two there for Amanek, on the clock, not bad, and 2-0 for North, though, that's the round they will be looking for. Now, G2 in this one, they're going to have the AEKs available, they'll have all the utility they like, they have to get around win now if they want to start competing early on. A bit of damage being inflicted there. That's pretty cool. Uh, if you look at a pistol round and an anti-eco, you would imagine North would uh, win both the rounds without losing any players. But G2, despite the fact that they just had the Glocks in one deagle, able to get a couple of kills and of course uh, that valiant effort earlier on by Hunter. Make sure that the money for North is not looking that great despite being 2-0 up. Uh, if he loses, he might have to go for an eco as the buy is in for G2. Okay, HMB with the FMAS. AZ with the M4. And MSL with the op early on. He just has the uh, the Kevlar, though, no helmet. Shouldn't really present a problem, especially considering he's going to be facing off against the AK 47. We're going to see G2 just setting up for the smokes towards outer. And MSL is actually pushed in here. This is, a, this is a risky angle for him to hold. He's going to get the first kill, but he might be trapped. He's holding the line, flames, looking at his feet. He's burning alive. He's trapped in the corner, 40 HP. And Amanek, he's, he's going to check the corner. It's a question. He doesn't check it. And it's going to be MSL finds one. Can get a second kill as well. He's going to find two. Trapped in the corner. Doesn't really matter, does it? He's still going to hold the line as AZ's, AZ's finds two. And just like that, Nexa's going to be left alone. Bomb dropped in MSL's feet. He's going to reposition himself towards the stairs. And Nexa has a lot of work to do. MSL finding two from that position is nuts. Well, he is still alive, which is the more impressive part. Now Nexa. <laughs> 
Hero kills just yet, but we're starting to try and change that here. Four players to try and collect. It's easy to swing wide and take him down, and North continuing just to, to dominate these aim battles. We've seen that on Dust 2. It was just so one-sided in terms of the kills. G2, literally, I, I think it was three players had less kills than Jumpy, right? So that's pretty nuts. Yep. Oh, well, I mean, two of them had the same kills as Jumpy, but still, I mean, oh, that just same or goes to show. Really <laughs> more or less. Kenny has had lesser kills than uh, Jumpy on Dust 2, which is, just blows my mind. But it's a brand new map, and it's a decider. G uh, North, uh, sorry, G2 have actually uh, they've confirmed the spot in the playoffs, winning the first map. But for North, they need this. And if they actually win this one, uh, I, I do believe you mentioned, Dingo, they actually could be placing second in their group, depending on how a couple of a couple of the other games go. But if they win this map, they're guaranteed to make it out of the group stage. So this is a must-win game. And right now, they're looking very, very good indeed. G2, just the pistols. And it's momentum that North have built up on there from the Dust 2 just continues to carry on, on, on over onto uh, Nuke. Beat. Taking down Amanek, it's going to be Kenny S with a Deagle, Jax, the headshot as well. So suddenly these pistols have turned into a winnable situation. It's going to be Gid, switching out the FAMAS for the AK-47. It's going to be MSL who shuts down Kenny S. Now 50 seconds left in play. What did Jax next turn? Hunter want to bring this. Still possible that they can win it. They're going to be making their way through the lobby. Conga train of death, perhaps, with 40 seconds left. <laughs> and actually, you know what a conga train of death is? I've seen a bunch of British people doing a conga train to socially distance conga train to celebrate COVID 19. What? What is that? Uh, uh, I've seen, now, that's I've, a conga I think I've train seen of death right there. I've seen it around the world. I don't think it's just a British problem. I think it's a universal problem with, <laughs> uh, with humans in general. But right now, 15 seconds. I've seen slow. Mm, yeah, they need to make uh, make a run for it, and Jumpy's ready. He can just deny the plan, and that could be the round he spots out a player. That's a bomb down, round done. Finds two of them, and uh, Hunter, Tech 9, oh, runs out of bullets, but no time remaining. Engage should get the kill here. Ooh. There we go. And picks up the AK-47 as well. Very expensive round from North, but they still get to round number four. They do indeed. 4-0 up. Now we look at what G2 can bring to the table. It's more than they could in the previous, but... See what uh, Hunter will do. He's one of the least cash. He's going to have to go with the Tech 9. And the Tactical Paw is having to come in from G2. Not been the start that they would have hoped for. And, and certainly not the start we'd attest to G2 here. Uh, for, for, for me, basically, as soon as we left Vertigo, and even on Vertigo to an extent, G2 haven't really, been, haven't really got going to the same level we know they can. I think Nexus had a pretty quiet series overall. Haven't really got involved and. I think that can be said for for the majority of the players here on, on G2. Even Kenny S on Dust 2 was just heading anything, really. What are your thoughts on the... I mean, since we have like a few seconds to kill, what, what are your thoughts on the report that Yugi is joining Astralis' seventh member in their uh, in their <laughs> attempt to dominate international Counter-Strike by basically adding the, entire, the entirety of Denmark onto their, onto their roster? I, 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 I don't know. <laughs> I don't think Yugi is gonna gonna be a player that really will do much in that team. I, I, when he moved to North, I don't even think he looked good at all in this team. Like towards the end of his tenure there as well, he kind of looked a bit rough. Uh, I think Hugo and I were casting in Dreamhacks of Ill, and there was times where Yugi was just not having a great time. But maybe this is kind of team that would give him enough hunger to to light up again, because he's definitely a player with potential. We, we've seen that a lot, but never really lived up to it. True. There were moments where he had signs of brilliance, especially when he was playing for Heroic, if I remember it right. But yeah. Anyway, that is a, a tale for another day. Right now, this buy from G2. Hunter with the Tech 9. MSL with the op towards ramp this time around. He's going to take the shot, then it's going to drop down towards below towards a lower bomb site. Jumpy's playing towards Hell. And of course, we have KGB just floating around towards the upper bomb site, uh, towards the outer yard, rather. Next up. Looks like Hunter's going to jump across, and the Nexa will be taking the duel here. Hunter's going to be the bait, but MSL is going to take the shot. Flashbang is perfection! KGB spots both of them. He gets a kill, falls on back. MSL misses the shot, but he's going to drop one down. He's getting hunted by Hunter. Tech 9 in hand, and MSL just legging it. He's going to hold the line, misses the shot, but doesn't matter. He stays alive, and that's important. He misses another one, though, and now things are looking a little hairy for the side of North. 
Well, Kenny has the next of finding kills. A little hairy, unlike Tom Biz, but. 4v3, <laughs> man advantage in play for G2 as Kenny X taking one MSL gone and AZ hitting the deck as well. It's only Jumpy left into the 1v4 and well, he'll make his way up to the safe spot, carrying it into the next one. And it was all love for Tom. He's uh, currently casting with Jason Kaplan over, uh, I believe, on the B stream. So if you're interested in watching that, head on over there. Yeah. Jason and Tom, I love that combo. It's. It's always funny to listen to them. It's always funny to watch them on camera as well, just seeing how much taller Jason is than, than Tom. L listen, Jason, Jason makes huge, everyone yeah, is huge. Look, look, look tiny by comparison. But here we go, though. It's a very good round. They're considering uh, North got that opening pick towards Outer, but Kenny, yes, somehow two huge kills. And Nexus chiming in with a couple of his own as well. And G2, finally, some signs of life here on the T-side of Nuke. And of course, the op in the hands of Kenny. Yes, keeping four players alive means that the money is a pretty decently solid for the time being for the French Serbian mix. And for North, despite winning four in a row, they had hemorrhaged quite a number of players. And that means KJB and Jumpy will have to make do with the Deagles. Now, Jumpy, I, I think he's going to be okay with this. He's just been giving away guns to his teammates all the time, not again, kind of being the bank for the, for the team. But uh, KJB with the Deagle, he can be deadly. G2 this time, not wasting much time. The Wall of Smoke's gonna be heading towards a tiny, perhaps a tiny little gap. There it is. Cajun Beat trying to time it. Doesn't spot anyone crossing over. Now he does. Rounds up bullets, but somehow nothing lands. But MSL, he's gonna strike. Finds one, repositions himself. Kenny, yes, he's gonna go for the peak. Yes, he is indeed. The flashback's gonna pop on. MSL, he's gonna repeak. No, he's not. He's gonna reposition himself further behind. This is smart work from MSL, but I love how GT are using the flashbangs to slowly force him back. Next is gonna find KGB. Now MSL has to go for the peak. And they run out of utility, so they're gonna to have to fall on back towards upper. Where AZ is still holding towards mini. This could be problematic for G2. The Molotovs will spread. No, it doesn't. AZ is just hogging the wall. So lucky. And they might not be expecting this. Oh no, it takes no, but it's gonna strike. He finds Kenny. Yes, that's a huge kill, and it's gonna fall back to safety. Well, Jax trying to do something as Nexa with a headshot on towards MSL. Amanek trying to get in towards Hell, the broken window, so he can actually just sneak up, but Jumpy is aware of the possibility. He's gonna be holding barrel down. Oh no, Jumpy gets spotted by Amanek, and that's a big kill from Nexa. AZ had locked down that area. He was so ready for that, but Nexa takes him down. That's all onto Gade. A 1v3, 20 seconds left. He could do this. You know, if G2 come here and fumble, then he can certainly cause a little bit of chaos for them. They have to go immediately. Gage just biding his time. He's a silent but deadly player, and it's going to be Amanek coming in with the headshot. Perfect. Cleaning clinical towards the end there from G2. Yeah, lovely stuff there. I had kept pushing back MSL and then immediately striking those upper bombs. And next to the three very, very effective kills coming in. And with that, it does look like G2 have slowly started to uh, climb back into this, uh, into this particular map. For North, though, it is going to be uh, Eco Days. Uh, three Deagles, USP, CZ, and hands of uh, AZ. No utility whatsoever. And as long as G2 play this one correctly, just don't overaggress. Don't uh, just run in blind in the sights. They should have this in the bag. The thing is, North. Uh, sorry, uh, the thing is, Nuke as a map, despite the Krieg's nerf, is still a map. You know, where, where most of the teams they have the the correct protocols. They've kind of figured out the T side, so it's no longer as CD sided as it was once as All msl right. okay then just destroys hunter shift delete with a deagle just the pistols they are still inflicting a little bit of damage onto the side of g2 well g2 trying to come through the ramp room just the one player inside of the ramp itself. So it should be relatively simple to take down Jumpy here, but he's sticking around. I like this. He's going back up, and he's actually got a lot of info off of that repeak again. He doesn't know that Jax is actually in towards hell, but surely he has to realize that's a possibility. And while well, he's going to walk forward, Jax taking him down. And on occasion, B is going to be there. Jax with a double kill. Amanek coming through as well. That's a quick flurry of frags, and it's going to allow G2 most likely the round win here. Let's get box off, and it's going to be one. Hoping the head of Kenny S, that's for sure. And he'll go back for more. A second picked oh. up. And oh no. Gate on the back of the site is hungry for these one digs. And he's got 20 seconds. There's all he needs to hold on for. And while Jax comes in from behind, he was always going to be the linchpin. Now it's AZ. 
A 1 versus 2, this is winnable for him. The time is low, 10 seconds. Low HP as well on Jax, 11 to his name up in heaven. And immediately you have to go for the plan, but he spots Jax up low. Oh, there we go, there's the kill. Now AZ into the 1v1, the headshot delivers through, but it's not death for AZ, he's still alive. Still moving forward. Amanek has the positional advantage, he has the AK, but he's going to be taking the fights, and the CZ oh. will not rattle the shots accurately enough. It's AZ who will fall, but way, way too close there. North nearly pull it off. Beautiful shots coming in from Gade. He doesn't have any Kevlar rider. he needed to land the shots, unfortunately. Not able to find a third, and uh, good patient from G2, waiting for uh, Amanek to come in from the heavens. And AZ as well. CZ at that range can be a little iffy, but he makes it very close indeed, and definitely... Gave his team a chance there, but North, it is going to be, uh, well, the double eco. That's uh, that's always, uh, I always hate to see that, right, but that's how CD side economy can be. When you get completely reset, you usually have to go for this double ecos, and again, Deagle's around though. Slightly better weaponry, but very, very slightly. Gate will push himself a little bit of Kevlar as well alongside AZ to have a smoke, the flash, and the grenade too. Slowly march up towards the ramp area. Jumpy's gonna make contact. He's stuck. He'll have to go for the duels. He doesn't find anything, but AZ, two kills for him. That's massive. And Gate trying to continue his reign of terror from the previous round, but he will fall on back as Kenya strikes onto MSL. Oh, Bomb is gonna get planted here for Amanek. He should be in Gate. Not really a winnable position with no kit, I don't think, here. They've got to just move immediately. Oh, for a huge mistake from G2, and I just don't think that is uh, within the realms of possibility right now. Occasion B. Tying down to 8 HP, and now Gabe with a bit of an angle here on Hunter. We'll take the kill, but his teammate falling. It does leave Gabe on his lonesome. He's going to smoke off the bomb, or at least try to, to smoke off the access point. But uh, it's not going to really work out for him here. He's going to be held by Kenny. Fourth round now on the board for G2. It's looking much better for them. They've actually got a system that's working on this T side. They're putting the rounds together. We'll see what they can do as they continue forward. But North have a buy coming back in. It's MSL onto the sniper. Four M4s around it. Plenty of utility. Kits in play. Finally, North get a, back, a good buy back in. Yeah, of course, going for the double eco means uh, they have a hefty buy. But G2's economy is starting to slowly spiral out of control. It's looking very good. Amanek is almost in 10k. Kenny S, 5. Next zone, 4. A little low for Hunter and Jax, but I don't think I'm going to be too worried about it for the time being. MSL once more with the, with the big green gun. Next up. Waiting. Oh, I didn't squeak it. does look like it's going to be... Just the uh, the ruse towards outer. Amanek's gonna try and sell something perhaps, but the hit is gonna be coming in towards uh, the upper bomb side by the looks of things. Aze is holding the line, he's got a smoke, he's gonna toss it in a second. There's an inkling that hit is gonna be coming in. In fact, it's gonna be going for the preemptive smoke. It's gonna slow things down a little bit here on the side of G2. The execute coming in towards the site. It's going to be the Molotov actually feeling towards upper there. Well, he's going to run on in. It's going to be a double for him as he holds on. Jackson Amanek tried to sprint through towards the site, but it's not really working for them. They're just getting absolutely shut down right now. This is a good hole from North. Get up in the rafters, gets the double. MSL caught in the open there. It has repositioned towards top hut, so still shouldn't be a chance, but Hunter is scrapping together and getting a few kills. Bomb safely in possession of Gabe. What oh. is that shot? Oh my god, that is filthy from Hunter. Another really is a chance for G2. That that run was done. That was a full shutdown from Gid and MSL. But suddenly Hunter pulls it back. And now he's gone. It's 17 HP for Kenny S and oh. AC. Saves the day, but North. Oh my god, they made that uh made that a little bit scary for themselves. Hunter oh, is scary. Sorry, Hunter, yeah. <laughs> Whew. Okay, that looked very scary, but then, yeah, perfect nade from AZ, and of course, Kenny S was already very, very low indeed. We do have Attack Timer getting called once more by, uh, by G2, the second of the, of the map. And AZ's having a, a hell of a game, 13 frags with the man. But the problem for North, again, Dinko, like that round, like you mentioned, it was a 5v2, and if that one that clean, maybe losing just one player, they, they would have started, you know, at least... Starting to have a semblance of uh, some money in the coffers, but if you look at it again, the money is uh, kind of.
kind of in the bin. Only one player of $1,000 that's a gate. So if they lose this again, they will have to go for an eco. And they're a team who we've seen so far in this entire series, they don't really like going for this half buys or force buys, right? So this is going to be a very, very dangerous round for gate. It's going to be a uh, for, for North, rather, it's going to be uh, one of those turning points, so to speak, at least in the in the first half. But G2, I like the fact they haven't gone for the full in, full investment. It's uh, kind of like a mixed buy, just equalizing the money out a little bit. And it's going to be Jumpy finds one. It does a bit more damage as well than Kenny has MSL. Nice shot on the Hunter. Kenny's in 13 HP. The 3v4 as the tease. They try to make their way towards a lower bomb, but AZ still being quite a problem indeed. He finally gets taken down, but it's done the damage. Nexus survives on one HP, and it's going to come down all on the capable hands of Amanek. Certainly capable, but is the round winnable at this point? I think we're uh, seeing North. Let's take their time. They're actually letting them just take this, but. I'm next waiting until his teammate comes down into the lower site with him. North not really budging just for the moment. I think that's the right way to play it. I think obviously there is a, some sort of risk that runs with this, but GT already have full control of the site anyway. You've got the man advantage over in the CT side. You've still got the utility. You've got the kits. This still should be around for North, but we'll see if Amadek can do anything. Like you said, the player with high health, the player that has to make the plays, and Sometimes I feel like Amanek is just a, a charged up toy, you know, he's like one of those chatterboxes or, or pinballs. He just flies around the map full of energy and taking kills. And well, there goes Nexa. It has to be Amanek. He has to light up the scoreboard. Oh, he has a chance here on towards Gade. There's the line up a second was available, but Gade will win it. Uh, Occasion B will win it. And it's going to be a sick throw on the board for North. So the retake is successful. I like the way they play that. I'm a fan of the patience and well, G2 in the end, not picking it up. Yeah, I, I, you got to respect how they just played the numbers game there. They didn't really get over eager. They allowed the bomb to get planted. And the second it got planted, they immediately isolated the player, getting the bomb down. And uh, the kill that come in the trade was on point from KHB. 6-4. to four. That was a very important run for uh, for North to win. But also bear in mind, despite winning that, they lose two more uh, two players. Three players, rather. So money's still not looking that great. And now we see the first tactical timeout getting called by North. And for G2, it was a light buy. It was a light investment. They get the bomb down, and that means they will be seeing, or we will be seeing, rather, a full buy coming out from the uh, from the French-Serbian mix. And the scary thing about this uh, G2 lineup is, like, uh, taking away the uh, how tactical and how good they can look, even if you look at them individually, any single one of these players can pretty much dominate the game if they're just feeling it, right? That's always going to be a scary thought. Man for man, just like pure skill wise, I'm going to give it to G2. And even uh, even looking at the recent recent results, I mean, they are the sixth best team in the world right now in the in the HLTV ranking. So they are doing something right, not just like out fracking uh, other players or teams. They have fundamentals now. They have some really cool tactics. Amanek is a great coach as well. And now they're facing off against North, who have been struggling quite a while. Who are playing with a stand in who's their coach, and yet North are taking the fight for them. That's very impressive. The jumpy is getting hounded. The Mac tends to drive by. They're going to get taken down. North. Ooh. What is Amanek doing? But MSL <laughs> plucks his head off. I don't know what that was. How is he alive? He's getting wall banged. And then finally, son of a Kenny is. Oh my god. G2. The whole W gang. The W gang of death. Yeah, Amanek just converted the whole team. And just gets <laughs> Amanek just converted the entire team to the W gang. Well, it's good. 1v4. Oh. Very low HP on two players here for G2. But good. Oh, there's the first kill. That's Jax gone. Low HP player, it's Hunter gone as well. 1v2, a minute left as well. Gig could certainly pull this off, Blair. Oh, but this... Oh, he can if he finds an exit. Oh, my bad, there I got a little confused. Yeah. But both of them, they're going to be walking up towards Heavens. Kenny, 53 HP, and unfortunately, Gig's going to gamble a lower bomb site. Bomb's going to get planted, and now he's aware. It's still tricky, even though the bomb sound makes a different sound, if, you know, if it's upper or lower, even now you still see these uh, moments where, you know, in the heat of the moment, you kind of forget where it is. Gate now slowly inching up towards hell, but unfortunate for him, Dinko, I think this might be it. Kenny S is waiting above like an angel of death on heaven. Oh, wait, what? What? Okay. Okay, Kenny. Oh, that was a whiff spray as well. <laughs> oh, God, th this round. Just just overall, from start to finish, this round was just mental. And well, fifth round on the board, G2 will pick it up. Kenny, the impact player of the round, but that was, uh, that was a pretty crazy round overall there. Very, very quick. At the start, well, 
I'm a fan. I'm, I'm a big fan of that. You know, it's, it's entertaining. <laughs> you like to watch. that, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> oh man, if if he had just turned around, if it just turned around, Kenny S was was done. But uh, with that, like we like we spoke about, the the money was very low already for North, despite winning those two rounds. And with that, it's going to be a full eco here. USP is coming out. Uh, they're going to be going for the full stack towards outer, but that max in could be a problem. Tech 9 comes out, but the USP is in the hands of Cajun B. Finding one, but Kenny S with a beautiful little tap. Just tapping away. A little bit of aim practice. Bomb will be picked up. They finally make life a little hard here. Dink comes in, but AZ, there's not much more he can do with the USPs at that range. A little bit of damage being dealt, though, so I think North's going to be decently happy with that. Well, 6-6. Six, six. G2. 6 on the T side of nukes. Not bad. We are here in the final map, of course. And uh, if you are just tuning in, G2 managed to pick out Vertigo 16-14. to 14. North went Dust 2 in a much more convincing fashion than I would have expected as well. They're currently playing with a coach, ladies and gentlemen, so Kiara B is missing. And that is uh, what, what I thought would be a huge hindrance. It probably is still to an extent, but still, they're doing a lot of damage. It's going to be MSL. Look at the gap in that smoke. Oh god, Cajun B is going to be loving that. Well, there's an easy kill. Jack's gone. That's two picked up. Kenny X coming in with a headshot. Cajun B gone. It's a 3v2 where the man advances siding with North. I failed to notice that that was a Molotov. Uh, Preemptive Molotov from the T's that probably might have made the smoke bloom a little early, giving that massive gap. Or rather, from the from the CT's, my bad. That could have been it. And wait, what? Was AZ the ladder? Uh. Hello? Well, <laughs> I, 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 I I don't know how how, how we got that. I, I never get that. I ne never, I never get a spray standing on the ladder. It should not be happening. But AZ, I mean, he probably, I want his config. I don't know what he's playing with. I want his config. Yeah, his config, obviously, call it to, to ladder kills. It's all in the settings, blah. It's, uh, obviously. It's all there. It's crosshair change. You know, if you're, you're playing bad, that's why you've got to change your crosshair. Change your view model, change yeah. sensitivity. Gaming chair, all of that good yeah. stuff. It's at different levels. What are your thoughts in uh, on arms on gaming chairs, but out of uh, out of curiosity? Uh, about uh, which gaming chairs? Just any. What do you think of any arms? gaming chairs? Oh, um, I kind of feel like uh, I have. I've gotten worse ever since my gaming chair broke. Okay. So I'm just gonna put the blame on the fact that I, uh, you know, gaming chair. My I don't have a gaming chair right now, but I do believe that definitely does uh, make an impact indeed. But hold on, hold on. Fast play towards upper. This is fast. This is very fast. Amit's actually made his way down despite AZ landing a lot of bullets, doing a lot of damage. And they might just get the bomb down here. But Jumpy finds one. Oh, he denies the plan. Jumpy, what a hero. And Nexa replies by going to AZ, but now the bomb's dropped. And the T's are nowhere close by. This is looking very, very strange. Oh, nice kill from Kenny. Catching out MSL. No get on the upper side. It's going to be Jax taking him down as well. Suddenly the kills flip and favor the G2 side. But Kenny, if he had won that battle against Jumpy, that is, certainly would have confirmed the round win. But in the end... It's Jumpy who wins the aim That's three for him in this round. This is a gun round as well, Blair. This is nuts. Listen, at this point, I'm a believer. All right? I'm a believer. Enough with the memes. I think Kiabi's probably with sweating. The... Sweating in the coach spot right now. <laughs> better get used to it, Kiabi, because that's where you're going to be staying. Jumpy, next Australis player when they add their eighth man. Who knows? You know, just get the Swedish Who knows? <laughs> well, yeah, he's not Danish, unfortunately, for him. But you know what? At this point, he's going to be given an honorary Danish uh, passport, probably, or citizenship. You see Jax creeping in, jumpy. It all might come down to him, but KGB is going to find Jax. Nate's going to find KGB. No, he survives. And next up, he needs to find his kill, but jumpy. What a hero. 4K for him. And he will get the eighth round for North. Listen. God, jumpy. That's all I'm saying. Listen, I'm saying, man, like you have all the Twitch spams and the copy pastors, but jumpy, he doesn't care. He is a god in the server. He's got the brains and he's got the aim. What else? What else do you want? What else do you want from this man? I just had a little look at chat, to see what the copy passes are going. It's, it's looking good. He got a lot of love coming in here from for Jumpy, but we now move into the last round of the first half. It's G two trailing behind, and 
Lies just uh, the the bane of their existence seems to be coaches. You know, G2 versus coaches never really <laughs> ends well, does it? And well, let's go forward. It's going to be easy holding on to good double, looking for the triple lineup. But Nexa is going to get rid of him. Kenny has coming in. It's going to be the op that drops MSL. And he'll be looking for more, but he needs this kill and he will get it. Grabs the bomb as well. Kenny S is starting to activate now in round, round number 15 when they desperately need it as well. Ammonek, I swear I see him with a Mac 10 more than a rifle, but he's uh, going up towards heaven. Jumpy at the door. Can he take down Kenny? Yes, he's going to close the door on him. He's going to keep closing the door, but Jumpy comes in, finds the headshot, says no to Kenny. Yes, and now it's all on Amanek. 1v2, Mac 10 picked off, and it's Jumpy that seals the deal. What a hero performance from him. It's 9 6 and North. Well, they're leading the way here on map number three. It's incredible. And well, G2, they must be sweating now. They want to get this for the seeding, but North desperately need this win. Join us after the break to see if they can continue this unbelievable string around. And when I'm low, on fuel I'll still be running till my back broke Halfway, lost hope and I'll check it Hard roads, I didn't think I'd come back fast Cause I was running roads so many nations Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It's North taking on G2. Second half underway, and G2, they're trailing. And, well, God Jump B is certainly standing tall. Oh, they are, they are indeed. 9 to 6. Who would have thought it'd go to map number 3? Who would have thought that North would have the lead? Jumpy. Flashbang. 
P250 handed over to Cajun B. In fact, he's actually dropped two P250s. Over to Cajun B. As MSL is gonna strike first, Hunter is gonna get taken down. They're over on the A bomb side. There's no one there. Can he S? And will Cajun B stop it? That's just bullying, just running around, taking heads at will, and just one player dropping for North there. And it's going to be, well, 10 to 6 now. This is so impressive from uh, North. And they just need six more rounds. Six more rounds to keep the dream alive. We're moving out from the, the, from, from the groups of what has been basically another group of death towards the, in, the, in the EU, Road to Rio. And my word, everyone just like stepping up to the to the plate when required. This is this is not looking good for G2. Yes, they have secured their uh, you know the slot out, I mean the slot in the playoffs. But still, I mean North, you can't take it take it away from them. Yeah, this is still uh, this is still impressive from North. And you know G2, the pressure is off, but is it really? I mean, they don't want to be a team that lose the coach again, surely. And, you know, it's all about the, the placing. You want to get as high of a seed as possible so the matches become a little easier as you move on, but I don't think there's a such thing as an easy match um, in the European region, especially online, because I feel like the seeding kind of gets affected by the, the skewed results. We see results not really going the way they should, and I, I don't think you're going to get an easy match. Oh, yeah, 100%. Kenius was a little lucky there to just drop down, and he actually got saved because of that. But here comes the pincer, and I love this play from G2. They... Uh are proactive, but they're unaware that Aegis pushed up towards Heavens. He's going to find Amanek. He has an inkling Hunter's there. He's going to spot him out, tickling the feet. Runs out of bullets, though. And Nexa, from behind, the flankers have become flanked. And now it's all in Cajun B and MSL to hold on. And it's all on Mr. MSL alone. One runs out of bullets, and Jax will be the end of him. And G2 is a scrappy buy them, and they make it work. Seven rounds now. North, however, they do get the bomb down. So I wouldn't be too surprised if they do go for the buy, but this is a huge win for a G2. They went for the force, but I just had a pistol and a one scout in the hands of Kenny S. And they've retrieved two AKs and a Gilil, and they net the round win as well. It's going to be an eco for North here. I don't see them really going for a buy. Might be just a full five blocks just running out with Squeaky making a very quick round of it. Oh yeah, this should be one of those rounds to just get over and done with, if it's the next one. Now G2 need every round that they can get. He had fighting towards outside, can be dropped to 2 HP early on. Kenny S looking for the long range fights in the Galil. Oh, okay, Jumpy. You know, not really living up to his name. <laughs> yeah, the, 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 this should be a very comfortable slaughter as long as uh comfortable you don't oh, oh. No, not two words that uh can be to mine <laughs> <laughs> not usually paired together but for g2 Indeed, they but, might uh, be but well it, it, it is counter-strike you do you know find these weird phrases because of the way the game is <laughs> easy a little uh, uh well it gets one it gets one at least but the auto shoddy in the hands of amanek will be traded for the rifle no he didn't so, a rifle lost, but I don't think they're going to be too uh, scuffed about that. 8 to 10 now. The buy will be coming in for North. Haven't really seen much from them so far. Apart from winning the pistol round because, uh, you know, KJB is just completely dismantling everyone. But now, I want to see what they have in store in the buy round. They've looked so good on the CD side. AKs all around. 5 AK-47s and for the side of G2. The uh, auto shot is still in the hands of Amanek. And off for Kenny S. Well, Gear not wasting any time. Look where he is already over the top. Oh, God, that is quick, but not getting the kill. Kenny S barely alive on 13 HP. He's going to be trying to just keep himself afloat as he's in towards lower. And more Gear wrapping around the backside. Somehow got himself into this position. Kenny S still very, very low. But it off towards top ramp, and he will fall. Gear hunts him. He wanted that kill, and he eventually gets his reward. But look at this. 3v3. Bomb side towards B taken. North getting their post plant positions. And now G2 having to play for the retake. And with the AWP in hand as well, it's going to be pretty hard. They do have the, the incendiary in the hands of Jax and the kit as well. A couple of smokes and a nade. So this is very, very winnable. And I like the fact that uh, Kenny S has... Uh, sorry, rather, the, the AWP has been dropped. I do believe that was uh, on Hunter, the AWP. He's going to be picking up the AK-47. The auto shoddy looks a little iffy, though. 
The center being tossed in, and here comes the retake. MSL holding below, and it's gonna be KGB. He's gonna find Jax. Hunter doesn't check, though, and MSL's gonna strike, and they don't lose a single man in the post plant. Beautiful round from North, and they get to round number 11. And for G2, well, whew, they have money on Jax and Hunter. Ammonix and 3700, but the Kenny is in 15, and uh, next on 29. So, gonna be seeing most likely a few upgraded pistols, and it's gonna be another eco here. North can. If they do this right, they can get to round number 12 and further extend their lead. Well, G2. Damn for I want for Hunter. The nades blowing open the doors. It's going to be G2 stacking their forces towards outside with the pistols, trying to cause a couple of problems, but look at AZ up here having a field day. At least he oh. should have been having a field day. Kenny S stops that from happening with a deagle. Takes his head off. The MSL is there to patch up the holes. It's Nexa and Jax both falling. Still Kenny out towards outside. He can be very nasty on the deagle, but Jumpy's going to shut down Hunter. That's the M4 out of the hands. And while it's oh. all on Kenny, that's going to be a nice headshot. Jumpy gone as he drops towards the vent as well to pick up the M4A1S. There's a rifle to play with, but uh, much more Kenny. I'm not really expecting it, but... Maybe a kill. That's a door though, and that's a giveaway. They know exactly where he is. Bomb's gonna be planted by MSL, safe plant. They knew the only angle that Kenny would probably be coming in from would be from Decon, and Kenny just might want to hold on to this rifle here. Money, not that great, but Gates there to ensure there is no escape. North to get to round number 12. And G2, the buy will be coming in, but they are bleeding rounds. And North now, Dinko, I, I, I'll, be, I'll be honest, I did not expect this to happen, but they need four more rounds. Just four more rounds to take what has been just a very, very unlikely, unlikely win here. Well, utility coming in from North. Now, four rounds away from victory. And depending on the other outcomes of the other games, might be getting themselves a uh, relatively impressive placing. Let's see. All the smoke stores outside. I'm not really using them just yet, though. Eventually, we'll start to move forward, and now the unit of North start to make their way towards the top of Secret Stairs. Shout out to Observer as well. He's been doing a great job all day. We had a couple of issues yesterday. Kind of, uh, kind of difficult to, to really focus. But today we've got Zarks hitting the hitting the buttons, letting us see all the action, and we haven't really missed too much. He's been absolutely fantastic all day. Yeah, if you follow him at Zarks CS, definitely made our life so much easier, and of course the game much better as well. For everyone involved. North. Slowly making the way. A Nexa though catches AZ. The door. Just gonna fake it out. And uh, this is a very good decision being made here. MSL. Oh, just runs past the CT. It's gonna make his way up. Waits for KGB to get the kill on the hunter. It's still a player above. And it's gonna come down to Amanek. But he doesn't find anything. Jax does find Gate. It's a 3v3. And look at Nexa just pushing up. A jumpy's there. The hero finds the kill. And now, well, Jax does find Jumpy though. Just before the smoke blooms. 2v2, still very, very winnable for G2 as Kenny S is coming up towards the heavens with the AWP. Well, Bomb oh, just planted. Taking forward, it's Kenny trying to drop into the side. His teammate falling, nice quick shot, but MSL is there for the instantaneous trade. It's 13 to it, and now three rounds away. North have just been unstoppable in these rounds. G2 have been outclassed on an individual level in terms of the fragging. There's refrag potential across the board. North are just hitting everything. When, when they lose a the player, there's always someone there to trade. And it's just a really solid system coming in from the T side here from North. And I think we're immediately seeing how deep their map pool is across this series. It's it's really exciting to see. And that's and that's testament to how good a system you have in play is. Sure, you take out K, you take out Kirby, you put your coach in. Doesn't matter, the system still works. And this is so impressive from, uh, from the side of North. It's not just about tactically but also the way they're just approaching it's so much hard as well they're not giving up in the lead now just three more rounds remaining five rounds ahead of g2 and g2 once more back to echoing days he's just gonna drop on down and be leading the charge smoke covering his uh his march up towards heavens i just love the 
the utility usage, the way it's being spaced out, AZ, is allowed to come up here because of the Molotov. Now it's right beneath of heaven. Gates there as well. There is a CT waiting above, but a double peek if it comes in. It's going to be quite troublesome indeed. And Amanek up close, wary. There might be someone below P250 in hand, but AZ47 is going to check it, and it's going to be double kills. One for AZ, one for KGB. Can he get some by Hunter with a CZ? He's going to find one. Looking for more. He finds two, but the trade does come in from MSL. Now it's a 2v2. Kenny and Jax, they have just the pistols to work with. As AZ and MSL, they just take a breather in what's been a pretty hectic round so far. Thirty-five seconds. A little lull in the action, but the bomb should be planted safely here by MSL. Got AZ up on top of him to assist, but Kenny S and Jax looking for the way back in. CZ and a Deagle in play. There's no utility, no armor, and no defuse kit. So this is certainly not looking to be the most likely of affairs, but we'll see if they can pull it off. Create some sort of chaos to allow these pistols to unfold and what a bit of damage done on towards MSL. They're gathered up now, going for this boost over the top. This might just catch off someone, but with MSL going deep in towards the heart, the position up towards heaven from AZ is strong enough. It'll be Jax alone. Not enough time to win this. He'll get the Deagle headshot and slip away with an AK. But that round will go in favor of North, who are now two away from victory in the series. And G2, you know, winning Vertigo, that's, that's the main goal coming into this matchup. But they'd still want to take the win overall here. And it's just not looking yeah. too likely. Yeah, you want to you want to get that the seeding right. You want to get that good placement going to the playoffs. And G two knowing a team like that, they want that little bit of an advantage, and especially facing off against the North side. Who, I mean, you said it time and time again, but you're playing with a stand in, a coach. They would have imagined this is probably the easiest game they're going to be having in the in their group, and instead, North just just come clawing, biting, and fighting into this matchup, and despite losing. And bear in mind, the Vertigo was a very close affair. Oh, yeah, it could have Dust been 2-0, to... yeah. This is the, that's the crazy yeah. thing. If it wasn't it was for Jax a... in some of those hero mm -hmm. plays, G2 could oh, have yeah, lost absolutely. that. Indeed. And map 2 was even more convincing from North. They won, I think, 16-11, 16-12, something 16, like that. 12, yeah. And now, it's like 16-12, and now they're 14-8. They can make it a 16 or 16-9, and they've just grown from strength to strength as the series has progressed. Credit to North. Like, they get a lot of brick bats, they get a lot of criticism, but this time, I think they've proven everyone wrong. Just an update as well on the other game. Movistar Riders took down Godset 2-0. Fears took down Contact 2-0. We've got these two matches still playing out. It's uh, next off to a good start. Taking the initial kill for G2. And North, a man down early into this round. This is not the start they would have been looking for. But Gid is going to try and pull it back, and he will. How many times have we seen Gid get into this spot? It's been unreal. This is just a complete uh, failure on the side of G2's uh, CD side. Like, the, you can't allow the T's to be up towards, you know, hell or heaven or towards ramp all the way from there. This early. This early in the round. Bomb down 4v4. Now, G2 have a decision to make. Do they really go for this? Do they just go for the save? Kenneth and Amina coming in from Decon. They are fancying the chances here. Amina's gonna open the door. Kenneth pop scoped in. Wallbank comes in. Jumpy taking a bit of damage. His feet are on fire, but he still gets the kill. Hunter will fall. Jumpy's not quite done yet. He's looking for more, and Jumpy's got a strike. Looking for the third, but Kenneth will finally end this reign of terror. And that's the round. It's over. G2 are gonna have to save. Kenneth's gonna head for the hills with the AWP. And North are in map. And match point, Dinko, would you believe it? Well, next up, he's gonna catch MSL and shuts him down. On our cage would be engaged. Saving over into the next, it's two players surviving for G2. An AWP and an AK carried over. The money is not amazing, but it's certainly going to be a buy here from G2. And well, it's their last legs. They lose this one, it's done. And as it stands, with the current wins that are under the belts of... Uh, of uh, the Movistar Riders, these, this is the matches up, matchups that matter. At the minute, Mouse Sports are looking like they get a win as well over in their best of three. It would be Mouse Sports, Movistar Riders, North taking the win. That would put North in second place, G2 in third place in the group. So, this is such an important round for North. Hundred percent is, and it's a golden opportunity. Just close this one out. Not allow G2 an opportunity to kind of clobbing into this game because bear in mind G2 can do it. You cannot count out this French Serbian mix. They have the players, they have the protocols, they have well everything on paper. Hunter. 
He's gonna strike, but just finds one. Gave it a quick trade. Kenny's head's been spotted out. Mauls off from Aze. He's gonna flush him out. Flashbang to follow up as well. And Kenny has to land a shot. What a shot! What a flick! Blinded as well. And Aze will drop. So man advantage now for G2 early here. Minute and five seconds on the clock as Cajun B is going to walk out towards the ramp. There's no one near, no one there, but Jax is going to peek out. Perfect timing. And Kenny and Jax are just holding together. And it's going to be all on Gade. As G2 will finally, well, at least they should finally get one round on board after what seemed like, you know, North just kind of running away with this. Okay, just finds the one, one HP. I don't think he's going to be doing much here. He's just going to run out to his set, I think <laughs> so. But he... Oh, okay. Houdini makes his escape. He's going to get the bomb down. Uh, but that should be a Molotov. Uh, yeah. Well, at least he gets the <laughs> I like bomb. How, I like how the nade... Yeah, I like how the nade hit him, but didn't kill him. It was the Molotov. Yeah, yeah. yeah. One HP. <laughs> the nade, man. You never really know. It's like a water balloon or high explosive bomb at times. Who You never really know what nade is coming at you. And well, 15 to 9, it's G2 having to do everything just to pull it back to overtime. They cannot afford to lose a single round. I feel like if you look at Nuke, it's a combination of two things. Firstly, G2 CD side has just fallen completely flat on its face. They don't know how to hold outer. Uh, they're just like allowing the members of North just to make the way towards, uh, towards hell time and time again. And that's not a willing, winning formula. And on the other side, for North, the, the protocols have been so on point that the trade game, and they're just abusing the fact that G2 is just giving them so much map control, so much of real estate. Kudos to uh, MSL. And of course, uh, Jumpy as well, who is definitely holding his own against these, uh, against all the aim stars on the server. Can't take anything away from the rest of the players as well. A AZ, Cage, and B, Gade. And the going got tough, as the saying goes. Tough got going. Kenny is now towards secret. I haven't really seen him too from this position, if I'm not mistaken, so far in this uh, second half. He's going to be walking on up. Uh, the smokes are getting deployed. Well, Kenny S. Oh, no oh. way. We've seen in the first half MSL do the damage from that position. He got two on the AWP. Kenny S just gets absolutely domed by Gade. And now Hunter, it's all on him to try and hold them off. To try and make sure they don't run forward with multiple players. And it's Hunter who gets a double. The flank from Jax going through as well. This is well recovered from G2. It's all on Jumpy. And while he may have had a resurgence of abilities throughout the first half, it's uh, not going to be happening here for him. He's shut down by Amanek. Now G2 finally break that money for uh, for north they're on to a low buy so this is, should be an 11th round for g2 and then who knows who knows what g2 are able to pull off who knows indeed but five in a row i don't know i don't know dick I, i'm not really feeling it i'm not really feeling it i just feel like north have looked so so good they're the system is working out they don't go for these uh half measures or half buys look at this it's a full eco i mean like Five map points, five match points. And they still uh, don't get over eager, you know, just a couple of deagles, P to 50. They're fine losing this round. They still have four more to work with. Kenny S. Up in hand. He's not going to miss those, at least. Jeez, as the gate will fall. So it should be should be a very uh, easy round here for uh, for the side of G2. Easy. Trying to go for some uh, cheaper wall banks. And uh, should be an easy mop up here for G2. The thing is. They want to keep all the players alive. They want to make sure they don't lose any guns. So even if they do string rounds together, if they keep hemorrhaging players, they're not going to have a full buy when North have theirs. Well, I'm going to take it down on himself. And easy. We'll fall this well. Another round picked up for G2. They don't lose a single player in that one. So that's exactly what he wants. And that money is now built up as well. So if it, it doesn't really matter at this point. But, you know, they, they'll, they've got that in the back pocket. Uh, North, 15 to 11. They're going to be purchasing up everything now. It's going to be the AKs. Utility is good enough, but it's not brilliant. I haven't really got that open play either, so... Let's see if uh, North can win off the back of this. It's certainly favored for G2. At least G2 are trying to counter that, uh, that okay, outer hit. Yeah, and instead they go... That is disgusting! <laughs> Okay, all right, all right. He's looking for more, but KGB will finally put an end to him. They have control the bomb site, though, but the nade, that is disgusting, the double nade. And KGB gets completely annihilated, leaving Gade alone. 
We saw him have a hero round here with the Deagle alone the bomb side earlier on the CD side, Dinko. No, this might be too much here. AK-47, all the utility to work with. Bomb on his back. Does a bit of damage on a Hunter, and that is him giving away his position. I think he has an inkling where Nexa is as well. Molotov tossing, but a smoke. And he's just going to try and get the bomb done, which he will. It's a little bit of extra money in the bank, which they will need. But the four guns just rattling off into the smoke. And he will fall. G2. They cling on to the precipice. They're not quite done yet. They're still kicking and screaming, just holding on. Looking to take this to overtime. Yeah, if I'm north, I just half buy or not buy at all, really, here. Um, you, you've got enough money, you'll have a perfect buy moving into the next round. You still have rounds to play with. Go for the tactical timeout as well. You're setting yourselves up for plenty of success if you don't invest too much here. And that's the call, right? So they want to get those ops in play. They want to get that utility. They were definitely lacking that in the previous. And that did let you to have quite a bit of success. Being the Judah Admanek getting three kills in the opening round, I think that is uh, that's certainly a way to open things up. But... North now under pressure. So let's see if these Tech Nines can deliver anything. I got to I gotta say as well, I like what North did there. Uh, they knew that Outer Bombs, that Outer Yard was uh, was a problem for G2, and they expected G2 to have a heavy presence towards Outer, which is exactly what happened, and which is why they went for the fast place towards Supper. And if Amanek hadn't got it 3K, who knows? It could have been North just running away with the win here. It could have been 1611. But Amanek, the hero of the hour, the hero of the round. We do have the tactical timeout done and dusted for North. Three more map and match points to work with. Tech 9, like you mentioned, Deagles, and they will be going for the fast play towards Outer. Hunter is going to find Jumpy in the meantime, but the remaining player is just a beeline towards that lower bomb site. Uh, quite a bit of damage being dealt by Nexa through the smoke. Let's see if they can get the bomb down at the very least here. is going to go in towards the double door. They're going to be running through. A lot of damage done. What a denial of the bomb plant coming in from Kenny S. Uh, He's going to go through the smoke trying to catch another. He's still just kicking. Going to be Nexa that takes down Gid. And now Kenny S just hiding in the lower side. Cajun B moving forward. Tech 9 rattles away and takes down Nexa. But shut down by Kenny S who continues to hit shots. And Jax will come through as well. Kenny has 28 kills right now, 17 deaths, showing up certainly here on Duke, doing a lot of damage. And now two rounds away from overtime, another tactical timeout coming in from North. This is the important time ahead now, they've got the buys, they've got everything they want, they lose this though, and that's when G2 really are back in this completely. Uh, the money is out of control with G2 as well, they've won five in a row and many of these rounds have looked very convincing, especially their last three rounds. They've only lost three players in the last three rounds, which they've won. I was a little worried for Kenny there. He he kind of just went in, I think he got a little over eager I felt like, but hey, if you're just going to hit shots through the smoke, that's just brilliant stuff. But uh, yeah, I do agree, North might be feeling the pressure a little bit right now. G2 stringing five together, they seem to have finally figured out how to stop this, uh, this T side which North have been looking so very good on. But still, it's not quite done yet. They just need one more round. They have two chances. And for G2, like you mentioned, Dinko, it has to be flawless. They need to win seven rounds in a row to take it to overtime. And so far, they've won five of them. It's been an action-packed day of Counter-Strike, and what a conclusion we have. This is the climax of the day. G2 looking to try and prevent North from having success. This would be heartbreaking for North. Gonna be setting up for it's an execute. A, it, it is a must win. I mean, they will be completely shattered if they let this one slip by. I'm still, I'm still a believer though, Dinko. I, I've been converted. I've been converted by North so far. At least for this game. Yeah, this is uh, this is the final sort of support pillar for my support for North. You know, if this, if this gets kicked out and sledgehammered by G2, I'm flipping. I'm, I'm pretty disloyal in that way. Uh, I'm, I'm just, I'm going over to G2 camp if they, if they pick up this round. And well, Jax is going to shut down AZ. It's a good opening. And now G2 will be looking to try and take 14. Smashing the economy off North. And well, not really capitalizing on much here. G Gid 
window isn't broken this time. They've also got to deal with Jaxes all the way back in CT spawn. They've actually adapted because for some reason mm -hmm. they just let Gear do this over and over again, but they've realized that there's a weakness here. Gear is aware of the possibility, so he's going to be very sneaky and, and approaching. And while Jax doesn't see him, the head pops up. They go for the fight, but Jax, he will not win it. He's stuck back in CT, but luckily Kenny S continues to find kills. And now it's all in North making the play in. It's Amadek with a headshot. Hunter as well. It's just not happening. MSL alone in a 1v5. He'll find one, but 10 seconds. There's no time to win the round. And North, this has gone so, so wrong for them. MSL has to stay alive. If he dies after time, oh god, we're looking at overtime. 100%. And well, there's one kill. They're running after him. They're looking for him. And he gets around the corner and he'll survive. Oh, oh so close. And North... 15-14, they were on map point, but G2, they claw their way back in, and it's the last round of regulation. <laughs> last tactical pause used up for North. This game, this game, like you said, MSL needed to stay alive because they were only going to get $3,400 for, uh, for the loss bonus. It is a max loss bonus, but $3,400 is still a little less. They're going to eke out a buy, though. MSL, of course, having no money in the bank because he did go for the save with no, with no bomb getting planted. And the rest of them, it's going to be AKs coming out. Might be a couple of uh, Galils as well. There we go. And the final tactical timeout getting called by North. This is it, Danko. Can they close this one out? 16-14 or will G2 just drag it to overtime? That is what's the, that's the question in everyone's lips. And I just can't wait to see how this one's going to play out. G2 seems to have figured out what the North are throwing at them. And I wouldn't be surprised if North just goes for a very fast play here. They haven't really contested ramp too much, but the fact that they have that AWP might mean they might take things a little bit slower. They have the guns. They have the, they have the AK-47, the couple of Galils. They've actually invested a lot in utility. So it's not going to be just a Hail Mary push coming out. Nay, uh, the door naded into Oblivion, and the Hunter, of course, with the smoke, just obscuring the vision for Cajun B. Just wrapping up a few bullets through the smoke as well, hoping to get lucky. A lot of utility right now, though, for North. And I do imagine, I do imagine it's going to be the set to what's upper. Tossing a couple of smokes to his outer, just a, just a ruse, probably trying to draw the rotation. And Nexa is going to be rotating back towards uh, towards the bottom of the fence. Cajun be slowly clearing out towards a radio. In fact, we actually might see the the pincer towards ramp. Dinko, I was wrong. Gate slowly inching in. They have Nexa to find. Nexa is going to be the pillar here for this defense. It's going to be a molly to wait and hop out in towards the site. And yes, looking for the shot, he's going to pick off MSL. Now he falls back in behind him, but he's caught by Jumpy. It's going to be the UMP running forward and shutting him down. But Nexa finding success on towards Gid. Hunter as well, shutting Cajun B down. And there's Jumpy and AC with an all to do. G2 look like they have done enough. They're going to be pulling it to overtime. And there it is. Overtime, boy. <laughs> North. Oh, they have crumbled. This is oh, heartbreaking no. for them. <laughs> They were one away. You know, there is a possibility they could have finished second in the group. If, if Mars Sports, you know, Movistar Riders already won 2-0 against Godsend. If Mars Sports win the series and North had picked this up, there's a, there's a case where they find themselves very high in that group. But G2 looked to try and stop them from even progressing. 15-8, Dinko. 15-8 was a scoreline. Before G2, just they just woke up the and they're like, you know what? Yeah, they're like, they switched on. They will had enough. Kenny has 30 bomb in regulation. And here we go. It's overtime. It's a 10k uh, ten k buy money rule set. And it's uh, anyone's game right now. Everything is reset. It's anyone's game at the moment. And G2, they definitely have momentum going for them. And look at the pace being set by North now. They've had enough. They're just pushing up. But where was this earlier on? Next is going to find AZ. Not able to turn around in time. And then a trade comes in the form of Gate. Again, somehow finding his way to a hell every oh. single time. But this time, Hunter is there to hunt him down. Well, I, I told you, Blair, I was in the North camp for a little while, and then I decided <laughs> I was just going to hop on over and join G2, and that's exactly what's happening here. Kenny S is shutting down MSL. Jumpy comes in and gets the trade, but still, a 2v3. G2 looking to try and take this retake on. It's the B-bomb site completely under wraps for North. Jumpy's going to make his way to the cubby. G2 just binding their time. They've got man advantage so they know they can just use the time but jumpy that molotov is not going to clear him out so he'll stay in that position second molotov will and jumpy he uh, apparently kills himself uh, um uh, and now it's <laughs> kjb 
Who's going to be up in the control room, looking to hold on. It's a defuse tap from G2. KJB with it all to do. He'll peek into the open, looking for the lineups, but the damage is there. The defuse is coming through, and Hunter makes it happen. Defuse can be picked up by Amanek, and a 16th round as G2 head into lead in overtime. They will not stop winning rounds. They will not stop winning rounds. Nine in a row right now. Sorry, eight in a row now for G2, including seven in regulation. And they're just not stopping. They're just not stopping, and they keep, they keep three alive as well. And that's very important. In a 10k in a 10k overtime, especially when you're CT side, even if you win the first round, if you lose too many players, the second round, you lose that. Third round, you have nothing to work with. You're just gonna have a few SMGs, maybe a maybe a shotgun, a few pistols. So keeping three alive, that is massive indeed. And op once more in the hands of Kenny S. Yes. This is looking very, very scary for North. They came so very close, Denko. They tasted it. They had the victory in their lips. But G2 waking up. Look at the aggression now. Jax is pushed up. He's going to hug the wall. And uh, oh, I love that smoke from Kenny S. Yes, that's going to be a roost. Now they won't be aware Jax is there. They might even check the corner. And that could be Jax getting multiple kills here. At least he might find Jumpy. Now is Jumpy going to be aware? Jax is just so patient. He gets himself into this position. Jumpy's going to be checking the corner. He seems to be aware of the possibility. And it's just all about biding his time. He does not want to make an error. He does not want to make un any unnecessary mistakes and give something away here. A flash will allow Jax to realize there is a player around the corner. And he's going to walk around the back and Jumpy picked off by it. Now next up, throws the ball top. Prevents North from walking down contact in towards the lower side. The thing is, North don't seem to know how to answer this, uh, this aggression from G2. Now G2 is starting to poke and prod, they're feeling the confidence. Nexa looking for the duel, but what a peek from Gade. Completely deletes Nexa. Now it's a 4v4. They're gonna have control of the bombs that the Jack's trying to make life a little bit more miserable. He's got a nade. Find a flash will be tossed in. And Kenny is standing in the flames. <laughs> he will survive in 44 HP. Nade being tossed in doesn't do any damage onto AZ. And now North, they have control of the bomb side. They have the utility as well to keep the CTs at bay. Oh, nice shot. AZ shutting down Jax. Now a man advantage in play for the T side is AZ. I like the small note that he plays in front of the boxes instead of actually behind them. The near does no damage and AZ has had enough. Just moving forward, cutting through G2, and it's a round for North. Finally, they will get one. It has been <laughs> such a long time since we've seen them find any success. And well, that's AZ just popping off. 27 kills to his name. He is leading the way in the kill count here for North. Eight rounds in a row. For, uh, for, the side of, for the side of North, and finally it comes to an end. Sorry, for, for, for the side of G2, but finally it comes to an end. And again, like you said, it's off uh, AZ just going Super Saiyan. And for G2, luckily for them, Dinko, they kept three players alive in the first one, in the first round of overtime, so they're going to be having a pretty comfortable buy. North, though, can they get a second one? It's just been a, just been a game of streaks. We had North go on a massive... Uh, run earlier, and then of course G2 with an incredible comeback. Kind of reminiscent of uh, Nuke of Old, where you used to have, you know, you just get three rounds on the T side, that sometimes that's good enough, you can just shut it down on the CT side. That looked like it was going to be happening. 16-16, final round of the first half of overtime. Number one, maybe? Perhaps? Kenny S? The nade won't do any damage, and he's aggressing out further. This is too risky for Kenny, I'm not a big fan of this, his goals for the shot. In fact, he gets tagged on a 39 HP. He's going to try and reposition himself. He's got Nexa. And North have second thoughts about you heading towards lower. Hunter on the side. Amanek above. Well, Hunter on the back line. It's going to be Amanek taking one. Kenny has burning away AZ, but it's Gay getting a double kill. Keeping them within this round. Jax wraps around this hut position. Could be enough. He stops MSL on his tracks, but Jumpy's there for the refrag. And now he can run in for the bomb plant. Look at Gay's position. Are they gonna check this? This could be huge. Nexa walking, checking the garage, should be checking credit card here, but aware and too preoccupied with the A-bomb side. Gear walks in right behind them. Execution 17-16. Oh. North will lead the way at the end of the first half of overtime. And uh, is it too late to regain my North subscription? <laughs> I'm still believing. I'm still believing. That was beautiful from Gate. Just the nerves. 2v2, must win round. He walks on out and he makes sure he lands both the kills. That was, a, that was an execution at the base of the skull. And now North. Where was this North all this while? Where was this North in the final six or seven rounds of regulation? But they finally woken up, Dinko, and now they have the lead again. They need two rounds now. 
to take the map and the matchup. And with G2, they need to win. They need to have a flawless T side to ensure they win this overtime, or at least get two rounds to ensure overtime. Number two. Indeed, and well, here we go. Pressure on for both teams. Not as much for G2, but again, they would love a better placement. North, a lot rides on this, everything in the road to Rio rides on this for North. Penny S is gonna cross behind the smokes. He's got a flash that'll drop in towards the bottom of the secret and he's gonna peek with it, but no one there. Penny S allowed free access, free rein in towards the lower bomb site at the moment. We do you have Cajun B? Moving towards secret. North with a one-run lead. Actually, we're holding towards Garage. Kenny, yes, he's aware. He's aware there might be someone there. It's all about timing. He's going to look the wrong way. So slowly fades away from the angle. KGB hasn't really heard much yet so far, and he's very paranoid. Doesn't want a player to just sneak up to his heavens. And a hit comes in, but Gate with the immediate Molotov being tossed into the entrance of Hut. And that's going to be called for uh, G2 to head towards Ram, where Jumpy is waiting. He's going to find one. They're walking out. Jumpy goes to the straight. MSL oh. helping his teammate out. Jumpy finds a double. And it's all falling apart for G2. It's Kenny S left alone in a 1v4. P250 is going to come charging in through the smoke. And Gate's going to pluck his head clean off his shoulders. North are once again on map and match point. They're going to need one more from the remaining two rounds here in overtime. Can they finally close this one out? It's been a fairy tale run so far in the series. But can they close it out? All odds were stacked against North coming into this. They had to make a win if they want to progress. And, well, they had a coach. They lost Kirby, a star player on the team. And he's out of there. Jumpy stands in, and what, what a performance out of this guy. He's completely overperforming everyone's expectations here. And while G2 on their final legs, they picked up map one, so they are safe in the road to Rio. But it's all about placement here for G2. Two more rounds. They've come back all the way. A huge deficit. Eight rounds they had to their name, but they pull it back through over time. Now they need to do it again. Fighting from the back. It's what G2 have done best here on Nuke. We'll see if they can keep it up. It's North here on the CT side. AWP for MSL. AKs. Mixture of M4s in play. And G2 just taking their time, playing the default. No one wants to be the player. They give away this early kill. He's paranoid. They might be inching towards secret, but so far no one's there. They're gonna be going for the uh, the, the pincer towards uh, Mini, but Cajun B's ready, but the Amanex is even better. He's gonna get the kill easy with the spray he finds through. That is massive, as Gay's gonna burn Jax alive. It's all in Kenny S. Dinko. He's alone in a 1v4. He finds one, goes for the wild spray, but MSL's gonna seal the deal, and North's gonna win it. They're somehow managed to close it out, and what a story it's been. North with a coach. And they take down G2. Would you believe that?